Well, today marks the start of Lightning Safety Awareness Week. And what does that mean to you? Well, Brooke Moore is on your side with this report. And, Brooke, we understand there is some encouraging news when it comes to lightning strikes. Well, that's right, Pam. According to the National Weather Service, the number of deaths by lightning strikes is actually dropping. 29 people died in 2010, including one Ohioan, but that's actually down from 34 deaths in 2009. Now, so far this year, five people have died as a result of lightning strikes. One, a police officer was struck on May 23rd in Joplin, Missouri, while performing search and rescue efforts after the massive tornado destroyed the small town. Here in Ohio, we see an average of 30 to 50 days of thunderstorm activity each year. However, this year, we've already exceeded record rainfall for the months of March, April, and May. And summertime is the peak season for thunder and lightning storms, making the purpose of this week to help keep people safe from the hazards of lightning and to also lower deaths and injuries. Now, should severe weather be heading your way, you're going to want to check items in your disaster supply kit. Run drills, know where to go and what to do during the storms. Also, check your weather forecasts daily and remember when thunder roars, go indoors. Though safety doesn't stop just because you're inside, you should still avoid using landlines or corded telephones. Do not use computers or other electrical equipment. Also, stay away from bathtubs, showers, and other plumbing. And wait 30 minutes after the last sound of thunder to go outside again. Now, if you'd like more information on Lightning Safety Awareness Week, you can go to the National Weather Service's website. I have it pulled up here. It is lightningsafety.noaa.gov. You can also go to our website, wdtn.com, for severe weather warnings as well as your daily forecast. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore. Two news on your side.